All right, guys, we are back. This is the Virtus Pro Staff Cup Playoffs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. This is going to be NIP versus Navi. That's and, uh, true. We are jumping into knife round to decide which side of the map these players will be starting on. Again, we're on Dust 2. Not a huge deal, but obviously still a minor advantage if you can put your opponents on the side that they don't want to be on. Yeah, I want to also give a super shout out to um, the people who are subscribing. To you know, it really helps support us here at RGN as uh, we go into this match. Here, Heaton, of course, absent. Uh, Two Face, however, uh, give me the update on that. A big shout out to Two Face, who's been hanging out with us all day today. Repeated now, and one v one. Oh, he's and it so all good. Comes down he's to so Peter good. He got four frags in the knife round. Who does that? Peter going massive, so they're going to be staying on the CT side. Yo, do you uh, want to do a roster rundown, dude? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. So on NIP, we have the legendary coach of NIP. It's going to be PETA. And the rest of the team is going to be Priest, Hoffvin, Logan, and Two-Face. And for Navi, Senya, Andy, Finn... Fintick and Slide as we move into the pistol round here. Good lucks all around as uh, we get underway here. Zenya just going right up cat here. Peta immediately dropped his 7 HP. Uh, probably not happy with that. Three players on Navi in lower B. Uh, Two-Face playing top mid. And he's going to actually push all the way through along and try and get some players here on the flank. It does not work out in his favor and he takes one down Sprawl. That was a really good push from Long but he couldn't seem to convert. Zenya gets one in mid and uh, in comes the B play. as. Taken down right away as Hoffman. The site is open. It's all down to Priest and Logan, who still haven't rotated from A Sprawl. It kind of fell apart at the rails there for Ninjas and Pajamas. Yeah, no doubt they definitely uh, worked those picks early on. Bringing Peta down so low so early on kind of gives up quite a bit of mid control. He had to play a lot more passive. We see Senya getting another frag, and he gets another. So that's going to be a hat trick for him in this round, and Navi picking up the pistol. That's big stuff right there, especially when you're starting on T side. It's always a little bit of a, uh, it's little provides some relief, some measure of comfort, knowing that uh, you you have the advantage going forth, and at least getting those pistol rounds is always a good buffer to have. However, Dust Two, one of the more balanced of the maps in the rotation, um, so you can never count out the CTs or Ts, regardless of the rounds. Given that uh, Counter Strike is such a momentum-based game, sprawl. Uh, anything can truly happen on Dust 2. It is uh, the most default of maps for this game. Everyone uh, just kind of knows what map you're talking about when you're talking about Counter-Strike. It's usually Dust 2. And uh, if you play matchmaking, you know all about playing Dust 2. For sure. One of the most popular maps, no doubt about that. And uh, looking at NIP right now, four players on the A side. PETA, the only player in B site, so... But definitely, uh, if you're going to put one player alone, I think this is a good decision on their part. Senya getting aggressive out mid. He's going to be smoking off CT spawn, and the mid to B will occur here for two of the players. Priest trying to spam through CT spawn. Not going to work out, though, and as they come into sight, Peter gets one. Can he get another one? Oh, he's forced to go to the knife, and unfortunately for him, it does not work out. And now it's going to be a retake, but quickly getting another frag. It's going to be the CTs here. Priest trying to peek from the window. Drop very low. Three versus three. And Priest goes down. we got Hoffman and Logan both pushing from the tunnel's position. Very lit terrorists here. So they definitely have a chance at taking this round. Those nades are going to put quite a bit of damage on Logan. Logan goes down. It's all down to Hoffman here. He's going to try and spray into sight. Unfortunately missing Fintick. So... Is he just going to work an exit? I imagine so. He's just playing back towards these mid double doors. Has full armor, helmet, and a CZ-75. And he's going to choose to fall back to long and save. So, not a bad eco at all. But, uh, and oh wow, two players dying to the bomb. Actually, only Fintick surviving. So, lots of damage done on that eco round. Yeah, lots of damage indeed. And starting things off, Fintick already has four kills here. So, he's off to a quick start. There are many players still uh, laying an egg here in the first three as uh, round number three gets underway. Pistols for the CTs, of course. A scout in the hands of Slide. He will be uh, picking mid with that. The bomb is outside long in the hands of Finn. And Two-Face, loving this right now yep. from this guy. Just throw the smoke down and hide in it. That is a gangster play right there in uh, 
any CSGO match. Once that smoke dissipates, oh, no. though, he's going to have an angry <laughs> oh, Terrace no. looking at him. And that there it is, slide <laughs> with the scout kill to quickly put Two-Face away. And there are four Terrace at long, but on the flank, <gasps> splitting the D. Oh, these CTs have snuck into A-Hall, but they are spoiled by the player still in spawn. That is Andy. And Peta will get one frag in a hall. He'll pick up a weapon, maybe being able to do some work here. No, Finn's going to quickly end that threat as the CTs are struggling right now to hold these terrorists at bay. Up long come Na'Vi. And the site is open. Hoffman playing in mid, just holding onto a CZ. He does have armor. Can, uh, normally I would say, you know, the round's probably over. You should just try and find a gun and escape. But the CZ is such a stupid weapon that uh, he's going to scoop up an AK here. And you know what? Sprawl, he will save that. But uh, I was just hyping up the CZ there because, you know, all day we've been seeing a lot of players just running around into sight, retaking all their lonesome with just those two clips. But Hoffman will save going into the gun round, probably being able to drop that and uh, give it to a less wealthy team. Actually, he's at the uh, he has the least amount of money. So that's a great pickup for him. And uh, that'll definitely give him an advantage Ooh. should he be able to save that here as he's trying to escape through T-spawn. The enemies have been alerted to his position. Andy, very lit in B, isn't going to choose to engage. Hoffman playing in spawn. Trying to peek one here. He gets away with the gun. That's close. No kills exchanged. Yes, very close indeed, Sprawl. And that's 3 nothing for Na'Vi. The gun rounds are now in effect. A full buy from either side. We'll see how this pans out as uh, Slide is going to upgrade that scout into an AWP. Yeah, we actually see Peter picking one up, one up as well. So I imagine he's going to be playing this mid position. When we saw him earlier in the day, that was where he was picking from, getting all of his frags. And again, he's going to miss that shot, but... Actually, no, he doesn't. What am I talking about? Senya completely legged. So, 15 HP or 16 HP left on him in an awkward position. Kind of in this cubby top of mid here. And uh, just playing it slow are the terrorists at this point. Looking for someone to get aggressive. We got Andy just waiting for the tunnels push here. Flashbang in. That's going to completely blind him. But uh, no pushes as of yet. Logan choosing to get aggressive needs to be very careful. But actually, the people from lower just... Went back into upper. Pita is going to finish off what he started. Senya going down, but trading a slide. So this is a four versus four. Logan trying to get a little bit done from this cap position is going to flash down, and that should buy him some time to either retreat or do something of the sort. And there's going to be the pick into B. Andy is going to grab that one, and Priest already in sight rushes through the smoke. Is going to try and spray and will get one, but Finn will put him down. So this is a three versus two. Two very lit terrorists, though. 14 HP, 19 HP. Fintick doesn't care. He's just going to put him down. And that was one of the high health players for the terrorist. And spamming him down, that's going to be Two-Face. Can he go big here? Two players left on the field. One in sight, one in tunnels. Again, slide, 14 HP. Can Two-Face enter in and get the frags? He does light up Fintick down to 61 HP. He's suspecting a flank, though, and he does come out. Will get crossfired. Slide picking up that frag, and 4 to nil is our scoreline. Yeah, that's going to kind of destroy the economy of ninjas and pajamas here. And, uh, I, I mean, that'll give us a chance here to talk about our giveaway. I know you know a lot about that. After this, uh, after our match yesterday, we're giving away, what, what, what is it? We're going to be doing a SCAR 20 Cardiac at 17,000 followers. So we're getting very, very close to that. I believe it's a minimal wear. And, oh, I just watched Two-Face and who just got up on Cat there. That would be Logan. And that moment when you both go fast, Cat, and you both jump. It's just so <laughs> awkward. So, so awkward. <laughs> like, and oh. you just get there late and you're mad and it's just people aren't. It's not a happy feeling. So luckily <laughs> for uh, luckily for Logan, he makes it up there without anybody pushing quickly. That's probably the most frustrating thing is when you both jump and then you make it there and they're already like they went fast cat and they beat you there. Just overwhelmingly frustrating. Not the case here. And uh, I'm getting word that we're actually over 17,000. So we're going to be doing that giveaway after this game. Uh, so please do stay tuned. And uh, yeah, we are going to see Navi taking long control still. Bomb is going to be retreating from Long A House. Slide taking down Pita. So that's a big victory for them here. Again, Pita, one of those front runners. We saw him earlier in the day drop a 34 bomb on, uh, on Inferno. And again, just taking long control here. Gonna have Two-Face on site. He's gonna drop down and gonna choose to get boosted back up here. They are gonna be pushing onto site. Are the terrorists in Two-Face? Staying alive for a long time, now reloading and will get put down. Priest 
is going to be the last one on the field here. And just to correct myself, uh, the Scar 20 giveaway, not after this match, it's going to be after the next one, I believe. So this is what I'm being told in my earpiece here. And we are going to see Priest try and get that frag, but Andy will eventually put him down. So 5-0 to zero is the scoreline for Na'Vi. There's something I really like that Senya did that round, and that's the smoke goes down to smoke off the cross. Just go back and watch the smoke, especially when you're playing against a uh, an eco an eco rush or like an eco hold, and especially even more so when they're holding onto a CZ because you get somebody push through that smoke and they can just mess up your entire round just by splitting that. And he spotted that player immediately running through the smoke and ended what could have been possibly a big threat to that bomb plant. Logan is going to peek from Cat into lower. Like in this play, the smoke on Cat, and then you peek uh, from Cat into lower. Something uh, I've practiced myself for a long time, and a solid play for anyone who's playing CT at A on Dust2. Two faces gonna chime in with another frag and equalize here at four apiece. Both teams uh, down a man. The bomb is up in the hands of Finn, and Finn Tick is sitting at 6-0 and right now, still having a good game. Hasn't died yet. He also has $7,800 in the bank. So, uh, Logan and Hef Hoffman, pardon me, still laying eggs right now. Trying to break that uh, sort of early game ring rust. Getting in the rhythm of things here. Ninjas in pajamas right now have weapons. They have no rounds to their name yet. PETA still trying to uh, make his presence felt in this game. As Fintick walks right out mid, the mid to B play, he's going to get flashed out and peek outside B. There is one at slant box, two-face, picks up one on slide and in mid. Fintick goes down to the rifle fiber of Priest. In trade though is Andy and Finn getting one with the AK. An AWP in the hands of Pete and now it's a two on two. Six players on the bench for both team or either team. And Ninjas in pajamas need a big retake and a big victory here. Otherwise, they might be ecoing again. They've lost the last five. They'll be getting a short or a small bonus, which would hopefully carry them into the next rounds. However, here it is. The terrorist holding in convincing fashion. That's two kills simultaneously. PETA goes down along <laughs> with his teammate there. And be not, even, not being able to be held. Uh, that's quite the sentence. And uh, it will be a... Buy again for the CTs, kind of cashing in on that loss bonus sprawl. And uh, Navi right now, just richer than God. They got four AKs and an AWP. Yep, no, their bed is looking great at this point. As I say that, we do see Slide going down to the and AWP. And he's on the board. Of Huffvin. Yeah, and he's going to be on the board 1-1-4 one, one, and four at this point. We do see uh, pushing out a long two-face. He's going to meet the bomb carrier in just a moment here. If he does decide to peek out, this could be... The end of him, and he does peek out in the spray from Finn. We'll connect easy frag for him there. And uh, evening things up, I'm not a big fan of that play just because you have the man advantage. Why not uh, Why not just sit and wait? But uh, that is going to be Two-Face dropping. And we are on to a 4v4 looking like a B-side take. All of the terrorists grouped up in Upper Dark. Priest going to be the first one to make contact. Does see quite a few moving up and unfortunately does some damage but doesn't get anything else done Hoffman though from the window will he gets two for himself and that's a hat trick in this round bomb still inside a B and Senya actually choosing to go back into tunnels with the bomb he's gonna be meted here met here in just a moment and PETA does peek sees him to the left Senya waiting for him to peek that corner and coming out PETA's gonna take that aim duel and it's down to Andy in a two versus one. Are we going to see NIP pick up their first round of this half? We're going to find out in just a moment here. Andy thinks that there could be one outside of B ramp. That's not the case. Is it going to flash his way in and takes down Peter? Now it's down to Hoffman. Can he get a quad and end the round? Misses the shot. Takes another one. Misses as well. So 18 seconds left. Andy has to go back to the B site. 15 seconds left. Hoffman realizes this. Heads back to the B ramp location, and he's just going to watch that cross. Nine seconds left on the clock. He's going to cross, and that's a quad kill for Hoffman going massive in that round. NIP picking up their first one of the half. It's so stressful playing that angle from window picking as the people rush out of B hall, the terrorists. Uh, he managed to get two there. 
That was a great flick shot on the second kill. I believe Auto Director picked that up. Fintech holding onto a Galil and uh, opting for the helmet instead of the AK with no helmet. So good stuff from him. And Slide still picking mid here is going to hit Hoffin, but Hoffin returns back with another kill. That's two rounds in a row that Hoffin has uh, fragged through mid with the AWP. And the momentum starting to go in the way of Ninjas and Pajamas now. And round number four is when the turning point really started to, uh, you know, take place as the average damage on either team kind of sinks and comes back towards the middle of the graph here. Fintic picks up Logan with the Galil already getting his money's worth out of that weapon. He is sitting at a score of 8-2 and two right now. But right now, Navi, shorthanded, trying to equalize. They do. Sinia picks up Pita in mid. The two big names for this game. Both getting frags immediately. Three on three now. No dedication to a site. No commitment from the Navi lineup yet. As the staffers look to push their way up. Cat and Two-Face takes down one Fintic. Returns back. He's at nine. But here is Priest already rotating from CT ramp. Trying to peek Cat. Oh, what a shot with the Famous. Great stuff from him. Holding on from ramp. And now he has to deal with Andy who's crossing. And a little bit of a miss smoke here. And he's going to get chipped away at, but he taps and taps and gets Priest. However, Hoffman is not going to let that round escape from ninjas in pajamas. And they're slowly starting to build bank. But these rounds sprawl. They're so expensive for the counter terrorists right now. They're, they've won the last two, and they're still barely getting away with a buy. Yeah, Hoffman, though, definitely heating stuff up. Heating stuff up, see what I did. Oh my god. Going into this round. I'm, I'm I over actually it, didn't even mean to. I'm over it. I'm done, dude. <laughs> Senya is going to be the first one with the bomb moving into upper tunnels here, and it is definitely a B side play. Pia in a beautiful position, though, gets one but traded immediately. Definitely needed more than that with that aggressive push, but Hoffman is going to get challenged inside a B site, gets dropped by Senya, and so far it is going to be. Good round for it. Navi, I actually didn't see Fintic go down. I'm not sure where that happened. Um, but he is dead nonetheless. Oh, what am I talking about? That was for the first kill that Peter got. Don't mind me. It's going to be the CTs retaking here. Two-Face will get dropped by Slide. Logan and Priest, only ones left on the field. And it does look like they're just going to simply save at this point. And not a bad call. B site on Dust 2. One of the harder sites to retake. Especially with... Uh, the advantage going to Navi here. That was just like a textbook B take. And I like how they watch the lower push. You always have to expect that in Counter-Strike. And I'm surprised that PETA only got one there. He had them lined up. It was a good response right away. I believe it was Finn with the kill. He just headshot at the top of his head right away to end that. But PETA definitely had a couple terrorists dead to rights there with that push. Uh, Navi up by five in the 10th round. Off to a very strong T-side start. And uh, I'm hoping this would be a little bit closer, but stranger things have happened in Counter-Strike. You can't count out the staff of ninjas in pajamas here as uh, picking mid is PETA. And that will be against the tap fire of uh, Andy with the AK picking down mid. Slide is going to fill that position with the AWP. PETA brought down a 12 HP leg. What? Oh, but PETA with the scout headshot. Oh, no one was expecting that, but he managed to do it. Senya quickly trades him out, walking through door in mid. But wow, quite a shot there from PETA as the CT are still trying to get their bearings in this round. Not quite sure where all the Terrace are. Trying to get some reconnaissance maybe. Priest pushed up on Cat. Jiggle peek in that corner. Looking for Terrace walking up Cat. He may have to contend with Senya here who is pushing. He jumped on Xbox. He's going to come around with the 5-7. That armor penetration though takes down Senya. And all of a sudden the CTs on this force buy are looking sharp here. As playing from the door is Hoffman. He's going to make the call. The CTs are going to rotate. Folks, it's a B take here for Navi as they move into sight. They're up five rounds looking to make it six here. From the window is Two-Face. But he cannot convert with that peak. Taking Fintic down to 30, 43 HP. P, pardon me, that's Finn at 75 HP. And on Plat Priest, putting Fintic down. It's a two on two now. Finn getting one more. Two phase trying to trade back. Trades back and forth, but Finn getting the better of it with four kills that round. The one man take pretty much at B. Huge stuff from him though. Navi was looking weak for a second there, but Fintic able to save things or save the day. Was that Finn or Fintic? That's not confusing. Don't worry, Rick. But nonetheless, Navi. Building on their lead here. Just going ham. And another save for Ninjas in Pajamas. Yep, and Huffin does get tagged as he crosses mid here. So, making B 
a weaker site in some respects. You see Slide still in T-spawn, and as we can see on the radar, three counter-terrorists pushed up Long A House. I imagine they're going to get aggressive at some point, but uh, just how long is it going to be? Slide is now watching that angle, so as soon as they decide to go, here it is. There's going to be Slide getting one, and uh, that's going to... That's going to mean that they're going to be rotating back, so not going to push out once again, and not a bad idea, honestly. That can get uh, ugly pretty quickly if you start pushing one by one. Slide is the kind of guy he's just going to take you guys out, no questions asked, and Senya getting a little aggressive on Cat here. Pita playing with a P250, very close, double doors, and coming out through the doors, that's going to be Senya getting the frag, though. And getting another one is... Oh, no, I thought that was Senya again. Or that was him. What am I talking about? Does get a double. Someone else just died at the same time in Two-Face. Last one on the field getting a beautiful shot on Senya. We'll be able to collect an AK-47, but... Not going to be able to retake, I don't think, at this point. And actually, he's going to get aggressive. Takes down Fintic. So he might feel a little bit confident at this point, but... I imagine he will, will eventually save this gun, but position he's at honestly he couldn't be more in the open <laughs> he is going to be heading up into b site so he is going to choose to try for a retake but finn puts him down and that's going to be the end of two face the end of nip in that round nine to two is our score line that was a uh that was a rock star play right there 1v5 clutch ace retake defuse that yeah you got to go for style points man but ninjas in pajamas uh, didn't they win the knife? Yeah, they won the knife, and then they chose the side, and it appears they're paying the price here, as uh, they are down seven rounds in the 12th. Senya naded with his teammate in a hall, down to a very measly 48 HP, been at 54, not how you want to sit around trying to take long as a T. Hoffman getting one with the M4, Andy is going to be spectating the rest of this round slide with the AWP, still trying to make his presence felt here. Senya gets one. At long, that's a big pick up there as he jumped in pit and got a pick. And uh, opt mid is Two-Face. He is brought down to 18 HP from the leg shot. So very low are the CTs with uh, just a few points of health. They have weapons. They are holding on A with two players. Priest playing from ramp. Two-Face playing from sight. He's boosted up through elevator. Hoffin at the double door. Still trying to get reconnaissance in mid, but it's crazy how low the CTs are right now. And you can see from their peaks, they're not trying to peak too much here as uh, they are within getting one shot. Well, except Two-Face, we see him here just jump peeking like a boss. But uh, no regard for his own well-being. Priest now rotating through spawn, maybe going to try and get towards A. But the terrorists have rotated out of long and have started walking up cat. There's really no one there. So Slide's going to make some noise from Pit as his teammates collect themselves on Cat and look for the hit. Logan and Hoffman have to rotate as fast as humanly possible. And Priest gets one from the ramp. We see him doing work from there before. Oh, and he gets a jump shot on the Finn, bringing him to 9 HP. And suddenly this is very doable for the CTs on ramp. Finn will go down. Priest gets another. Planning on sight is Fintic. Priest, oh, almost getting that frag there. Barely escaping. The clutches of his rifle, which is on fire right now. And pushing from Cat from behind is Hoffman. He gets the one on sight, and now all they have to do is defuse. Get to the safety box and try and defuse from behind. I'm sure that Slide is not happy about that bomb plant right now. I guarantee you that's what they're talking about in comms. As they lose this round, Slide uh, is going to try and save this AWP. The bomb is defused. Ninjas in pajamas get a much-needed round. Slide can't get that escaping CT either. So a big win for Ninjas and Pajamas as they needed it most. They can win the next three and then win the pistol. All of a sudden we're tied. But like I said, Counter-Strike is a momentum-based game. And so far, Ninjas and Pajamas have not been able to swing the pendulum in their favor right now. Only winning the 7th and 8th and finally the 12th. But not able to string together many rounds in a row. Yeah, hopefully they can get another one for their work and effort again. Hopefully the momentum uh, might be on their side now. You see the bomb over near B for Navi. It's going to be Fintic hanging on to that. Senya playing this mid position once again, usually the one to get aggressive through the doors. He is going to peek out, sees that there is no counter terrorist here. It is wide open. Does have a smoke grenade, but he's choosing to actually peek up. And Two Face inside a CT spawn is going to spot him there, and that's why you smoke that. Senya will go down, trying to be a little sneaky, but not working out in his favor. So the man advantage for NIP looking good for them starting off this round. 
Two Face is going to be jumping across mid. Will be rotating to the B site, and you can see the bomb though is heading through lower tunnels. Andy trying to get aggressive out mid. Will flash himself out, but that's just to uh, get back to the other side of the door. Two Face is here. He's going to get smoked off at the double doors. So moving up, Cat is Andy. You can see Peta is on site with an M4A4. He's got uh, he's got some gear. He's got an incinerary. If he does want to use it, they're going to be flashing up here. And I imagine this is going to go down right as they decide to come out. Nope, there it's going to go, and that's going to put an end to this aggression. No, actually it's not. They're going to be running right through it. Slide gets one. Priest will get one, though, and it's down to only two terrorists left, and that will be Two-Face grabbing one. Slide will go down as well, and 9-2-5? Nine, 9-4, to four, sorry. Didn't update. We are uh, moving into round number 14 here, so very close to the end of the half, and if NIP gets a, a sixth round here, could mean that they could come back on the T side, that's for sure. That uh, is big for ninjas in pajamas. That's going to put Navi on the eco, and this is exactly where you want to capitalize. You give up an eco round here, and uh, pretty much you get so morally defeated that it's hard to come back from that, especially when you're uh, side by side with players that you perhaps do not compete with on a frequent basis. So uh, PETA picking mid. Trying to assert himself here with the AWP, watching for the cross. Oh, narrowly missing Senya there. Senya's been working mid as the terrorist every round, pretty much. Being able to convert many kills there. Super effective for his team. Pita and Priest both playing A, and Two-Face pushing long. He has three terrorists on him. If they get him down, that's a free gun. They try and overwhelm him, but wisely so. Two-Face will pull back and play a better angle here. The bomb is outside B on the back of Andy, waiting for it to push through. The setup right now for the CTs is uh, pretty, I'm, I'm liking this, it's pretty good right now. They're covering a lot of angles. They have kind of control of Minhoff and was peeking it. Uh, however, Senya is going to take his pistol and run right up Cat, Slide, and Fintic, both hanging around in mid. Senya's going to fall back and maybe head towards B as Two-Face pushes around through long. He's going to get a lot of recon here. Oh, a nice shot as Fintic was crossing the door. Senya does get one back. However, before he can pick up a weapon, he is taken down. Slide and Logan both picking up kills, and suddenly Slide is the last terrorist remaining outside B with 30 seconds left. Uh, he has to fight against Logan here. Is that right side B? He's going to throw some utility down into the site. The bomb is down outside of the mouth of B Hall, and Slide now knows that the CTs are closing in on him every which way. He's going to go for the CT2 tap, or the CT2 tap, pardon me, as a priest will end that round. Uh, pat his stats a little bit on that eco with a doubler, bringing his total score up to 10 and 10. Batting 500 is Priest as it is 9 to 5. The last round of the first half, the Ninjas in Pajamas win this one. Uh, suddenly, they're playing without momentum going into the second half, and you win those pistols, like I said. Yeah, we're going to see Slide trying to pick that cross. It's not going to be successful, unfortunately. Bomb looks to be going towards the B side here, but... They've kind of been doing this most rounds, even if they're not necessarily going to take it. Uh, they, they kind of just huddle it in, and again, Senya working that mid position. He's already out inside of the smoke. And like we were just saying, he, he loves to work this position. Will Smoke CT spawn, flash his way out. He's going to be coming in from mid doublers here, flashing in, and here comes the bomb into sight. Huffin is here. He's going to flash way too late, though. And Andy and Senya do get those frags. Now we're going to see Priest boosted up in CT spawn. Is it going to be able to find Senya here? There is Senya. He does it. Grab that one. So evening things out at least a little bit. It's going to be four versus three. And last round of the half, CTs have to go for this. So we're going to find out if they're going to be able to retake the site. Flashes are exchanged. And all of the CTs are coming from this ramp side. One is already in sight. Two-Face put down, though. Down to only the two CTs. Priest will get another. So that's two for him. Are they going to be able to get anything more done? Still three C, or rather three T's left alive. Slide will get that, and Fintic finishes things off. So ten to five at the half. I don't know if Auto Director picked up Slide getting that kill there, but that's what it looks like when you inch peek at B window. You really have to kind of commit there because you can get caught just like that from B Hall. A great pick there from Slide to uh, end that threat, and yet again, Sprawl not able to string together many rounds was uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. They won three. They won rounds 12 through 14. 
So they have that going for them. All is not lost 10-5. I've seen way bigger comebacks. We'll see how this pistol round unfolds. Navi are playing three long, two B, and none mid. So a very ballsy setup here. As Senya is going to set up his teammate and head back towards mid, try and gather some intel here on the happenings of the terrorists at the top of mid. Logan, Hoffman, and his teammate Priest all outside long. Still, no kills yet. Buck thirty on the clock. Pita. Working lower, Heaton, or he, pardon me, Two-Face, he has Heaton in his name, that's confusing! Two-Face, it's gonna work right up Cat, and uh, trying to pick a frag here, as we see him uh, peeking towards A, Finn is on sight, but not getting a challenge, as the pistol rush is here at long, out comes NIP, and out comes the flash from the CTs, no kills exchanged just yet, and he brought so low, not able to get any of the terrorists, not able to do even that much damage, a big missed opportunity there, Pita, elsewhere on the map, pushing through mid, gets two with the Glock, oh that's deadly, and now Navi falling apart at the seams, and it's all up to Senya in spawn, he can't get a kill, no kills at all, that round for Navi. And Ninjas in Pajamas win a much needed pistol round there to try and come back from this deficit right now. They're going to have the weapons to put themselves ever so closer to Na'Vi. And if they win this one, they're within three. They win the next, uh, which would also be a save round. They're within two. So big stuff here from uh, Na'Vi. They're going to need to shut this down. Otherwise, all of a the sudden, they're going to be dealing with a close game. And Na'Vi feeling a little comfortable right now. Let's see how they play this. Yeah, Two-Face two looking to peek long doors here and does spot one player but chooses to fall back. So just confirming that there is indeed someone out there. No rushes are occurring for Na'Vi at this point. So they're actually full ecoing. You can see they have uh, P2Ks and they have uh, USPSs. And we got Pita and Hoffman working cat right now. They're going to flash themselves in. Looks like it is going to be a split A here. As Bomb is in the long A house, but uh, three counter terrorists are on this site. Well, not necessarily site, but too long. And then we have Slide in the A ramp position, and as they come out, Finn will get one, but they will trade back, and it's going to be two frags for the terrorists. Make that three. Two face super lit with the bomb, though, and does go down. So that bomb is now in a very awkward position. And actually getting another one, that's going to be Andy. So two versus two, as I say that, Andy does get dropped. But the flank is real. It's going to be Senya from behind. And uh, if he plays that's this properly... Read. That's a good yeah, read. Yeah, he's actually going to be able to uh, pick up a rifle. So not a bad idea from him at all. I believe that there was... Uh, yeah, there is an AK there, but choosing to grab the Galil in the heat of the moment. Probably just didn't see that. And uh, heading over to this B site again. 14 HP on him. And uh, he is going to go for the retake. At least it looks that way. No kit, though. And again, no armor, just 14 HP. But he's Pita. got cojones. He does. There's no doubt about that. Here he goes and does peek in, but Priest holding the perfect angle. He's going to catch Senya, checking the wrong side. He's going to be checking car and will get hit in the back. So, moving into this next round, it is 10-7. to NIP on the comeback. Yeah, I love that, man. 14 HP, retake, no kit, whatevs. But another save for Na'Vi as they are nearly down to that two-round insurance round as uh, borrowing a hockey term. As three CTs push long, liking the setup from Na'Vi. But no aggressive long play from the Terrace. An aggressive mid play from Senya who just throws a smoke down in mid and then runs into it. Pita and Hoffman uh, both playing mid two face getting that kill on senya in mid as now cat is taken andy playing in b is gonna have a long walk ahead of him if they decide to hit a the terrorists finn is in a hall here he's gonna have to deal with logan pita and pre should he push that and uh, he's just waiting for someone to come around that door two face gets one at a hoffman gets another finn will find one at long but priest quickly trades him out and it's four on one. Oh, make that what? oh my Dear Lord, one Deeg. Andy gets one with the Deagle. Hoffman the is low 11 down. HP. The bomb is down in a hall. Yes, right you are, Sprawl. And now Priest is tasked with retaking. He's got 100 HP uh, and a Galil. But right now the Deagle of Andy not proving wild Ooh. enough as Two-Face quickly, quickly dispatches that threat. And Ninjas in pajamas are within two here. And an AWP on PETA and an AWP on Slide. This is going to be a war. 
Yeah, it sure is. I'm still just recovering from Peter getting a headshot like that by that deagle. That was pretty gnarly stuff from Andy. But like you said, we're going to have uh, some AWP action. Peter and Hoffman both yielding that AWP on the T side. And Slide will be rocking it at mid here. So the bomb is outside along a house, but... Inside of upper B tunnels, it's going to be Hoffman trying to spam his way in. Logan as well there with a Galil. And uh, looks like they might just be going back to mid. Logan now inside a lower dark. It's going to be jump peeking and checking out Cat here. Again, the CT setup is basically mid is completely clear. So as soon as uh, NIP decides to kind of peek out and they realize that there's no one here, this really is a huge opening for them to maybe do a split B, or honestly, it just opens up so many options when you know that CT side is not playing mid at all. So, looks like Logan will be smoking into CT spawn. Senya is going to be moving down, so now they have rotated one to mid, but that leaves Slide alone inside of B site. Doesn't matter, though. He's going to take down Hoffman, trying to opt from upper dark, and Senya flashing himself into mid. He's not going to see anybody, but there is people there. Logan... Will get dropped. Pita, second one out. Gonna miss that shot as he heads back into sight. So, it's gonna be another pick here from the Tisa. Or not another one, but their first one, rather. And moving up into sight, Pita takes down Senya, and B is now under control. That was big. That op play, that's what I do. I just rush mid into B with an op and get a <laughs> close range frag like that. Okay. All right. We are gonna see a retake from Navi. We got two from tunnels. It's gonna be Finn and actually it's gonna be Finn tick going down. Finn coming in behind him though. Andy peeking from mid double doors, but he is deciding to save at this point. Finn looked like he was he wanted to go get that AK, <laughs> but it could have just been him kind of peeking back and forth. Um, but he is gonna work an exit here just on the stairs in lower and does get a pick on Peter, so that's taking down one op. That's actually a very expensive exit frag, and good work from Finn. Picks that up as well, so. Yeah, Navi was looking strong there with that early pick at B. Um, but the terrorist just able to close in on that. And those were two huge entry frags. Senya had mid unlock, and he escaped into B there at the uh, middle of that round. Away from the op, I believe that was a PETA. But it mattered not. He got that uh, op frag we talked about. And he gets another one here at the start of the round. That AWP is down right away. CTs are probably going to want to collect that here. As uh, in mid is Andy playing from CT spawn. Playing for sound. Trying to um, stop any sort of mid rush here. Fintech does a push cat. Drop Logan with the Famous at the cost of 70 of his health points. Outside long is Priest, outside of B, waiting for pushes. So the Terror is playing pretty passively at the beginning of this round so far. Working picks. There is AWP in the hands of PETA. There's one on the ground at Courtyard, if you, I guess that's a source player call out. Uh, outside CT spawn where you pick mid, there's an op down on the ground there. Smoke does go down mid. Fintic is uh, playing from Cat here. Real close angle, he's not going to see... Any action just yet, but out long is Two-Faced. He's playing by big pick. I'm not sure if he realizes there's a player in pit. He's going to run up long, knife out. Peta's going to fall in support here, but Peta, oh, gets a nice op shot. Senya and Finn both combining to get two. It's now three on two, ninjas in pajamas. It's showing signs of weakness here, trying to make the most out of the second half. They've won four in a row. They're trying to make it five. There's 30... Eight seconds left on the clock, and two members in long having to deal with Finn in pit. But Finn take the 32 HP. Peter crew just coming up on him with the AWP now, aiming the pit, aiming the pit. He misses his shot. Finn take's gonna re peek, but Peter will get the frag. Finn, that was Finn, pardon me, not Finn take, not able to convert on that kill. Finn take, however, is an elevator. He'll be smoked off. Not quite sure. Peter will be uh, expecting this through the smoke push. He's going to try and get one on Cat here, but from behind, it's Fintic to end that round and the threat with 10 seconds left on the clock. Navi getting a much-needed win here. They have to build on this, otherwise they're going to be buying weapons again and no one likes having to buy over and over and over again. This, the Terrorists have enough bank to be able to uh, muster up some force here, enough to threaten the CT side. We'll see how this round number 21 goes. Yeah, Peter picking mid once again. Sees some players cross, but uh, not going to be able to fire any shots, though. And we do see a nade stack from the CTs. It's going to be... Looks like...
like a top mid play just for the meantime. We got four terrorists heading through here. They are going to smoke. Not the best smoke, but it is going to be a smoke. And looking like they might go mid here. Senya on the other side of the smoke, and boom. He's going to take down one. Can he get another one? Gets a double, and I, at least on my screen, I, I he ran out Huffin. Of yeah, that was exactly what happened. No, but Huffman. Anyhow, Peta is going to get a pick in CT spawn. And that's going to be Logan dropping Andy. Only Finn left. It's inside of CT spawn here. And, uh, again, to explain why I was confused, actually Hoffman running through the smoke, but the Go TV smoke looks way different than the player smoke, so he couldn't see Senya, but it looked like Senya saw him perfectly, and basically he just wasn't actually shooting at him. <laughs> so I'm like, what is going on? But, again, that's the Go TV smokes for you. Finn, just playing from CT spawn here, trying to get that exit frag, but Two-Face will put an end to him. That's going to be uh, putting Na'Vi on another eco. Worst case scenario, winning one round and dropping the next. Yep, definitely. And Ninjas and Pajamas will be able to get at least a couple rounds here. Finn, oh, he so badly needed to save that gun, but uh, not able to match up against Two-Face. Two-Face is playing really good right now. He's actually top fragging for his team at 20 and 16. The top fragger are three members of the CTs, all at 17 kills. Senya, Andy, and Finn. In mid, come the terrorists looking to find an early pick here, but three CTs all stacked up in long. One in B, one in B hall right now. Pushing is Senya looking to kind of get some positioning here, but Hoffin is already ready for a B push. He actually misses one member. He didn't see Senya there, but Peta will see him from spawn with the AWP. Frustrating, still having to deal with an opper in spawn. Uh, Hoffin is going to try and one man retake B Hall here. The bomb is down outside long. Pushing long is Andy. He gets taken down by Priest. That could have been big too if he killed him and scoop up that gun. And mid to B here, the terrorists are making this play but are doing it without the bomb. Two Face picks up a frag as he enters site. Fintic playing from spawn. Still with a pistol, and Finn also with a pistol. And uh, not to be confused if you're listening but not watching, there are two players on Davi, Finn and Fintick, if you hear that. Hoffman drops Fintick, and this round will come to a close here as uh, on cat is Finn. Just trying to find a uh, lurker here and pick up a weapon maybe for the next round. But really, uh, Navi not able to... They kind of have the same problem that Ninjas in Pajamas was having last half right now and the total kills if you look at some of these players right now like two-face has really stepped it up here in his last 10 rounds actually from round 12 he's just been going ham he's steadily been climbing the charts so he's a big reason for the success of ninjas in pajamas right now on this comeback and on cat is finn still waiting waiting to find something he is gonna drop in a spawn but find three terrorists oh, ready geez. and willing to fire away they do and that is perhaps a force buy. $3,000 for Finn. He's going to armor up and buy a... Oh, I'm waiting in suspense here for Finn to buy a gun. Oh, my God. Probably an upgraded pistol. But Navi now have MP7, tied. Are tied. Are tied with ninjas and pajamas. Finn may be trying to finish off some damage opponents here. Get that money bonus as they are strapped for cash. Yeah, exactly. And for all of you just joining the channel, looks like we got about 16,000 people in here. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, again, we do have a couple giveaways going on. If you guys follow the channel after our next match, we're going to be doing a Scar 20 Cardiac Minimore giveaway. That was for hitting our 17,000 followers. Uh, but we also have those subscriber giveaways at the top of the screen. You can see we have uh, X I Buy Power Steel offering some lessons, as well as a Huntsman Safari Mesh Knife. So if you want to get in on that, please do... Uh, Click that sub button. We do appreciate all the support. And it does look like PETA does grab a frag, but I am not quite down my plugs. We do have a tournament coming in for uh, just the in-house RGN. It's called the Winter Classic. If you guys follow us on Twitter and just check out our tweets, you can find out more information about that. And you see Slide actually coming in from Tunnels, and Two-Face actually had made it in already. So they do have B control, but the bomb is still out mid at this point. Hoffman. Getting aggressive on Cat, just kind of faking them. They might still come towards A. That's going to make Fintick stick on A ramp here. And as we can see, all the terrorists moving over to that B site. Huffin just playing from mid here. He has CT smoked off. He's going to check back to Cat and hang out in mid here. But as the bomb does get planted, it does look like Navi 
haven't moved an inch since it became planted. So does look like it's going to be a save. Um, they are, yeah, they have no kits. So that's uh, one of the big reasons, as well as five T's still alive. Like we said earlier in this game, really is very difficult to take B site uh, back on this map as a counter terrorist. So just saving all their guns again. Finn with his MP7 just playing right outside of doors here, and he is going to have some actions coming in quickly here, and there is Two-Face, and he's going to pick up an AK for himself for his efforts, and Peter will take down Fintick. He's going to be opping long, but does not spot anybody, so they do save two weapons, and moving into this next round, it is 12 to 11. Finn bought that uh, MP7 with uh, zero dollars to spare. And now he's the richest member of the team he's on, the CTs, you know, Navi, uh, because he got that frag, and he got that bonus money, and he scooped up a weapon at the end of that round. So, I believe he dropped for his teammate, and Finn is just kind of satisfied with his armor and pistol here, feeling confident in his play. The terrorists uh, fully armed, fully armored, and Navi now facing their first loss i guess coming from behind now the first time this match they are not in the lead the terrorists have won so many of these rounds that's nine ten and one two three four five six seven so 17 rounds have been won by terrorists this game definitely a c or t-sided affair here Peta with a huge op frag slide goes down that's exactly the start nip needed but peaking mid is senya he will get taken down not able to play uh as majestically as he did last half in mid. But pushing is Finn. He's going to scoop up an AK. Ooh, a shiny red line there. And it's a 2v4 now as Andy and Finn both have their work cut out for them. Closing in on uh, their flank is the entire, almost the entire NIP lineup here. There's three in A, but they have no bomb. It's down at long. Finn is already peaking T-spawn. He knows Peta's going to be there with the AWP. Peta has been on a short leash in T-spawn with the op he has uh not really been peaking it or pe going further than spawn these last few rounds peaking only you know the b tunnels and mid but it seems to have been working here as logan and finn kind of try and hold on here for dear life finn gets two by the end of the round i believe that was andy not uh logan so pardon me but finn nonetheless getting two frags there there is an op in the hands of the cts navi are uh, starting to get that lost bonus here. They're behind by two, and Ninjas in Pajamas really uh, getting that momentum game. Like we talked about before, Sprawl, this map, when you don't play with a team that you haven't practiced with a lot, it's all momentum. Yeah, no, you're exactly right about that, and we have the T's heading out long a doors here, and Finn's going to be right around the corner. Will he be able to get anything done? Does have his work cut out for him, grabs one, and no one actually re-peaking to uh, trade that frag, so... He is going to get another one, so that's what happens when you peek one at a time, just lining up for the CTs there, and this is a great advantage for Na'Vi going into the start of this round. We still have a minute 25 on the clock, but... Oh, I just missed that. Peta just decided to go right into sight all by himself on the B-side. The slide will put an end to that, so only as soon as I get to that as well. I'm just right behind. I'm sorry, guys. I swear I'll catch up and Priest is going to be the last terrace on the map. Nowhere near, though, is the bomb. It's going to get a nice shot onto Finn. Good headshot there. And uh, there is two lit CTs on the map. So Priest could get uh, at least a couple more frags. I'm not counting him out of this round completely, but uh, he, uh, being that the bomb is down outside along and there's three counter terrorists just hovering over it, it's going to be difficult here. 40, sef 40 seconds left on the clock. He's going to be heading into Long A House. Uh, Molotov will go away, or incinerary rather. He's going to flash his way out. I don't know if that actually worked. I think it actually just hit the top there. And here he comes. He's not going to get anything more. So Priest will get dropped and NIP uh, are going to lose a round there. So two in the books for Navi. Two-Face is at, I mean, 2,000. And he's going to have to get dropped by a teammate here. But so much money the terrorists have. Logan has 11k and he's going to actually finish that buy time with 9.8 so the terrorists pretty much in good shape to be buying for near the rest of the half and to start things off for Navi, Finn and Senya both take it down to under 20 HP as putting in the work with the AWP is PETA like I said 
hasn't really been leaving spawn that much. Uh, he's, he's in top mid now, which is maybe the furthest I've seen him go this entire half. He's outside long now, and he's been doing so much damage for his team. Hoffman already playing close at the door. They know that there are there there is, pardon me, a CT lit. Uh, probably two of them. I'm sure he knows that there's one lit at A and one lit at B. Hoffman gets an off frag, and he trades right back. Two faces is on the bench. That's a big, big kill there. Two faces has been such a critical part of the success. Senya though playing from fence at B, he's getting the better of Logan there with an AK headshot. He's at 19 HP and he's managing to put in a lot of work right now with little health to do it with. And it, all of a sudden it's almost a 3v3 now. Priest gets one, Peter gets another, and suddenly NIP is answering right back. Finn from spawn on the flank looking to have an answer here. But Andy with the M4 frag jumps onto the B platform. He's got Terrace on his left and right and Navi somehow gets a victory. After that big, big frag there from the Terrace exiting B hall. And just like that. We're all tied up again here in round number 27. Na'Vi really getting a second win there in the latter half of that round. Yeah, everything's tied up here. So round 27, both team with guns. See that AWP still on Pita? It's going to be picking mid here and doesn't see anybody yet. Smoke does go down and that's going to be Senya pushing up. And I don't think anybody is the brighter. He's going to be already up. To, no, he pulls out a nade, and that's going to be the end of him. So Finn and Senya down early in this round. This is going to leave a lot of work to the rest of the Na'Vi team. And they're rotating over to this A site. They do suspect that this is where the push is going to take place. Two-Face, very close to the cross. Sees one jumping at Elevator. I imagine he would have known that they're boosting, so probably calling that there's multiple. And he is going to be rotating back to mid here, but... Unfortunately for Na'Vi, they are just stuck in CT spawn. Smoke is completely taking them out of this round. And uh, they are choosing to save, it looks like. Two players back inside of B site slide. Looking for a pick, but with that smoke in the place it's in, probably not going to happen for him here. So another save for Na'Vi, and it's going to be a 14th round for NIP at this point. They gotta play it extra, extra careful with their economy here. They've been so damaged all half. They've only won three rounds this half. And uh, NIP, have even those victories that they got, NIP made them expensive victories. They were uh, just barely escaping those rounds. So every gun matters right now. Going into round number 28, Ninjas in pajamas still holding on to this lead. But barely, 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 barely. And uh, hopefully all of you guys at home are going to hold on to your skins here for whatever team you bet on. Because these teams right now are going toe to toe. And just uh, goring themselves down to the bone. 1v1s and you know save rounds here and there. But mostly it's been back and forth in terms of momentum. Terrorists getting the better of either half right now. Uh, by a stunning majority of rounds. PETA picking B quickly. Waiting for someone to jump on the B plat. He's actually going to get flashed and maybe a smoke to follow up. As a, nope, Senya playing aggressively isn't going to smoke it. He's just going to play really close at the mouth of the tunnel there. Counter flashing is Two-Face for Pita, who is still picking on the plat. And he almost has Slide in his sights here on the B plat. Senya's going to peek. Oh, man, but Slide peeking in sync with his teammate. We'll get that off frag. Pita goes down. Big pickup right there for Navi. They are now one man up. Shorthanded are the terrorists still looking to take a sight. Nothing really to show for this round so far. Pushing mid. Oh, a mistake from Fintech right there. Pushing through the double doors. Evening things up. Giving up a kill there without a trade. Finn still playing on A plat. Looking for one more after dropping an oncoming terrorist. Andy getting one with the M4. Playing from long here. He's going to rotate out. Two faces is going to get a frag on Senya in mid. That's important. Senya has been a big impact fragger so far for his team. He's sitting at 19 and 23. Hoffman and Two-Face bunched up on Cat here looking to take A. Finn playing from the ramp. Will get one. He'll get two. And that will end that round. We're going into the 29th here, boys. It's 14-14. Strap in. We'll see if Ninjas in Pajamas is going to save for the last round. It appears not. They're going to go man mode here and buy. Yeah, this couldn't be any closer, and you don't need me to tell you that. It's 14 to 14, like you said, round 29, and both teams with guns at this point. We got uh, two Galils on the field for NIP. Not a heck of a lot of nades either, so maybe not the gear they were hoping for, but as they come out along, 
Pita's gonna get tagged a little bit, and here they come. Two-Face is gonna get dropped, so Navi taking an early lead in this round. Finn is going to be tested as the players are moving up to quad box here. That's the bomb and everything, and they're just gonna group up together, take him down, and he gets one, but Priest will trade once again, and from... That is from Long. He's gonna get a dink onto one of those terrorists, but will not put him down for good. We're gonna see a 3v2. Can NIP hold this site? They have two lit players. That being said, though, Andy from Long is very lit in himself. And Slide trying to work from Cat does get a frag, so we're on two versus two. And no, it's gonna be a one versus two here. Slide, last one on the field. It's gonna be mollying onto site, but there is a player on CTU ramp. He burns Priest to death after he dies, but that's gonna be the round four NIP. Fighting for overtime now. Navi, no money on their side. They're gonna have to force up, and this is not the optimal situation, but let's see if they have what it takes to uh, make this a 15-15. Losing an eco to go to overtime is devastating. If Navi... Uh, manages to win this round. I'm gonna say he'll take the game in overtime, but that that has yet to be seen here Oh sneaking lower was Senya off to a good start with the famous in lower gets one But quickly NIP answering back with two bombsite B is wide open Not quite sure if the terrorists realize that right out mid is Logan bomb in hand gets dropped by two CTs now in spawn Priest needs to get another no we can't do it Finn answers back It's a 2v2 for all the marbles right now, Finn in dark spot, CT. Oh my god, Fintick also playing from Cat. This is so close right now. Pita getting an AK headshot right there. It's 2v1. Fintick, oh lord, has to retake 2v1 into bombsite B. Oh, taking a little bit of damage there from his teammate Two Face, uh, chipping away at Pita. However, there you have it. Two Face is going to peek out. And I know our producer is happy about that NIP win. There is your score 16 to 14. NIP taking that one, but just barely. I could have watched these teams go all day. Top fragging this match was Finn. A big shout out to him playing for Navi, showing up to play.